Hey, how are you? My name is Max No Sleeves, and look who got a cut on his arm! Comes with the territory, you know what I mean? You live life, no sleeves, sometimes you're gonna get cuts and bruises, usually on your elbows. Ew! What the what? And there you are. Uh-oh, looks like you got a cut on your arm. Maybe you were in a knife fight. Maybe you were saving a baby from a burning building and a piece of glass sliced your arm in half. You're probably wearing no sleeves, good move. Or maybe, if you're like me, you were riding a scooter and fell because you have zero balance. It's true. Oh, I just tripped standing there. Never fear, today we're gonna go over the ins and outs of dressing a wound. So with just a few steps, you'll be back in action in no time. Now you might be asking, hey Max, why are you in the kitchen? Well, that's an easy one. Step one. Ugh. All right, step two. Step two, you're gonna have to clean the wound. This is actually looking pretty friggin' good, dude. This happened a couple of days ago, so it's already cleaned up pretty good. A speck on the... Son of a... There's nothing grosser than having a bunch of dirt and crickets in your skin while it's healing. That's some like gross Wolverine stuff. We don't need to be doing that. There's only one Wolverine and he's Australian. So step three, wash the wound. I prefer soap and water because they're usually found in the bathroom of the bar that you go to as soon as you fall off your scooter. O'Brien's. But if you have the access to it, a little bottle of hydrogen peroxide never did anybody any harm. As great as it looks on your hair, it looks even better on your wound. Grab some paper towels. Ooh, this is gonna be real tricky. <sighs> a lot of people think this hurts, but those people are Ah, mother Son of a So Why the Who made this God! Son of a And now it looks great. Step two, grab your goo. So after you leave the bar, go straight to the grocery store and hit up the first aid aisle. You're gonna wanna look for the ointment section, which is a lot less sexy than it sounds. What you're gonna wanna grab is the bacitracin. Don't worry, bacitracin is just a fancy word for Neutrogena. Now that you cleaned out all the gunk from the wound, time to grab your goo. Everyone's biggest mistake is they want the goo to be pretty. What you're trying to do is not pretty. You're just trying to splooge all over the place. Bam, 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 bam. Okay, this one's gonna get age restricted. You're gonna just smear it around like a disgusting jelly sandwich. I had a babysitter one time made me a butter and jelly sandwich. Let that sink in for a second. So I'm still talking about it. it must have scarred me for life. Oh yeah, you love to see it. Do, do you love to see it? Yeah, bish. How about some porn music? Ooh, you like that? Mmm. Ooh. All right, ew, ew. Fantastic. Any extra goo, just wipe it on your pants. Look at that, there's already some there. Is that goo on your pants? The reason we do this is you want the wound to be all gooey. A lot of people will say you want it to dry out. Oxygen helps the wound. Big mistake. Oxygen doesn't help anything, because everybody knows breathing is for poop. But wounds don't need to breathe. Does a wound have a mouth? No, I don't think so. You're trying to make a gooey, disgusting petri dish on your skin. And then the petri dish grows new disgusting skin cells and it's just blech, disgusting. Uh. Step seven, grab a band-aid. I went to CVS and got the biggest friggin' one I could find. That's what sh Did she say that? No, she didn't. No, I I guess she probably didn't. Shout out to CVS for not sponsoring this video. But hey, I'm pretty clumsy. Maybe you get the next one. Take your band-aid and uh, just slap her on there. Ew! And there you are. Now the problem with all that goo is, huh, ugh, is it makes the band-aid slide around. So, what you're gonna need is some tape. Now you're gonna wanna get the stretchy, breathable tape, not the athletic tape. Athletic tape is for athletes, and athletes don't hurt themselves. What you're gonna want is the one called breathable, gentle tape. Oh yeah. See how it stretches like that? Sexy. Now we're just gonna do a casual roll around the arm. Oh, don't worry about making it too tight, that's what he said, because it sticks to itself. You don't wanna make it too tight, because then you cut off the circulation to your arm. And then before you know it, you pull the Captain Hook. Actually, that would be sick. Captain Hook, as much as I hate lake or purple, this is pretty sharp. And there you are. I mean, Come on. Buzz Lightyear to Star Command. Now you know that if you're ever at a party and you start bleeding profusely, you don't have to leave the party, you just have to dress the wound. Uh. Check it out, I'm a friggin' field surgeon. Thanks for watching, if you like the video, please subscribe. If you don't like the video, please subscribe. My name is Max Nelsleeves, and I'll see you next Tuesday. Bingo bango. Ah, that's so much blessed. Disgusting.